Hello Akis, hello IT5.6. Today I got a little surprise here, uh, unaccepted recording. I was just browsing my emails and what I realized is I had a funny email which I thought it's gonna take your attention. Here's my inbox. Uh, it came to my uh, one of my email addresses. It looks like it comes from St. George Bank. I don't know if you remember. Last week I we did cover actually uh, and I was trying to show you that most of the links will look like it's from St. George and etc. But if you look carefully, if you look in some of the up to 2013 features or 2010 features, we will be seeing um, that the link is actually not St. George. Okay, uh, what I found out with this is look, um, this little ultra smart guy did create a template and he did send e customers. Emails looking like, or not customers, people emails looking like from St. George. And here we go. Here's the email address. It is coming from St. George.com.au. If I look, it says you can connect to St. George.com.au. But when I check the details of the email, here we go. I'm double clicking. I'm going to the file as we did cover last week. And I go to details you will see that the email is actually not coming from St. George it's coming from uh, another SMTP server okay no problem no problem with that I don't want to cover what we covered again now I'm logging a I'm pausing my screen and you will see that as soon as you highlight the screen output will tell us the email uh, the, the URL and the URL is funny enough pointing to a Turkish website Mesut Kemal Aydın, it's either one, the hacker, two, someone who was compromised. And as you can see, let me just zoom in, no, as you can see, this is a template. Okay, what I've done is, just for the demo purposes, I'm just copying the hyperlink. I'm going to Firefox, and I'm just going to open another browser. As soon as I click, you will see that this website was already reported for Fergary, so some people done this already, but I can just uh, just go on or do even something better. What I done is uh, I did went to the URL and I went to the directory traversal. So basically now I get full access to that directory, which means I can just download the St. George zip and as you can see my download accelerator program said you have already downloaded if I open my uh, downloaded file you will see that this guy did duplicate that website and uh, I'm just opening it in IE you will see that it looks like St. George Bank I can just open the other URL and here it looks like there is an active uh, active X script which tries to get control. So if you look into the source of this resource of this website, you will see now that there is a script somewhere here which grabs all this information. To be honest, I did not done this offline. I'm doing it now, live during the recording, and it is probably sending it to a website. Here we go. A. Let me see if I'm gonna be able to find the script. So a, it is sending it to a different location, which is right here called George. Uh, as George has been now blocked by Firefox and IE, we can't go further and see. But what I've done is, I got an FTP server, uh, FTP login software. What I've done is, I just copied the URL, went to my FTP site, and sorry, FTP software, and I just said quick connect. I did enter, I, I paste the server address. I said connect and and bada bing bada bong. I was few seconds ago in now. I'm not in anymore. Hold on. 
Alright, so recording. The guys probably just recorded and um, stopped it about a few minutes ago before I started the recording. It's funny enough, I was able to go into this website, which means I could just upload my own viruses here and hack this guy back, which I did a few seconds ago. Let me try one more time. You know, when you do it live. Listen directory. Beautiful. I am in. As you can see, I am right now in in that website. I can just go and start to upload stuff to this guy's website. All right. What I'm doing is I just created a text file here saying, "Hey, somebody using the website as phishing based. If it's if it's you, I got the details. If not, learn how to secure your website. I'm just gonna get this stop.txt. I'm just gonna press." into upload and bada bing bada bomb it's been uploaded to this guy's website now I can just go and weave my text file from here or even better I can just start to load viruses to this website and I can start to attack via this guy's website as well is this what our aim is? definitely no why did I record this? because I wanted you to see how people can get hacked or how people Try to hack others while they think they are ultra smart. Uh, I believe in this case, what happened is uh, this guy was just, he didn't have enough security in the website. As you can see, he's using Apache. Uh, we can just go and run some security tests in his website. I can just see details about his DNS as we covered before as well. So, this is gonna have a look right now come on DNS information as you can see it's been already reported that's why it is really not going to too much in that but I can see where this website has been hosted so someone from uh, Turkey is trying to attack St. George customers hoping to get few credit card details so these things are can be easy like that but people can be caught easy like this as well so uh, if this is the guy no issues we got him if he's not the guy then uh, he just gets been hacked by someone else and someone is using his website to steal Australian data what we can do is I can just start to look into username and password from this website I can just go and uh, try to get some information about his website and as you can see he's using the Google name service uh, which is probably which they are probably hacked by someone else I get all their PTR records I got uh, X there must be public now I can see if the website is safe and in this case as you can see Google doesn't have much data so uh, what I have done in that short recording for you is I wanted to show how an email can be helping us to find people who do bad stuff as well uh, it, this was not an advanced demo I know but I just thought it was gonna be interesting and I just decided to do this recording on the spot. I hope you enjoyed it. See you Monday in the class. Bye bye.